Game day. All right, just got to Steve's house, about to pick him up. Um, I think I'm late, a couple minutes late. I was trying to do the five side, but I effed up. Um, yeah, so just waiting on Steve, and then we're gonna head, head it down. Looks like it's two hours and 30 minutes. So, awesome. Look at this hooligan. Who left you in the country? <laughs> signing, signing people, no <laughs> <laughs> he made bits. Yeah, that's a lot. Love it. Two boys, two boys, two boys, two boys, two boys on tour. <laughs> think of it. I think it's a good point there, that, that Harry King. Manchester United is one of the biggest clubs in the world. They continue their preseason tour of the United States this evening. The Red Devils will face off against the Red Dragons of Wrexham AFC. Famous for their Hollywood owner to have poured big bucks into the Welsh club. It's always going to be one step at a time. And, and, and truly, what Ryan and I know for sure is that we know absolutely nothing about football. Uh, certainly about football strategy, about building a team. We just try to hire the right people to build the right culture. And we trust Phil implicitly. All right, all right. Uh, we made it into the Wrexham fan zone. Uh, pretty good setup here. They set up the turf. I don't know if you guys watch the show. The turf is the bar outside of uh, the race course ground. So pretty cool. Also have the wall that we incarnated that too. That's pretty neat. It's hot. It's hot. But we're having fun and uh, a lot going on. Gotta go find some Manchester United fans now. Get away from these Wrexham fans. Uh, we were just talking to 
We are at the Snapdragon Stadium and we're about to kick off for about 45 minutes. It is hot as hell, hot as hell, but the stadium is awesome, beautiful. Very nice stadium. Uh, there's Tim Hag down there. You can't see him there, but Tim Hag is right there. Uh, having a great time. Like, you know, looking forward to a good game. Talked to Humphrey Kerr earlier from Wrexham. Fantastic, fantastic guy. We'll put that up later. All right. against a bunch of Manchester United's best up-and-coming prospects. Season begins, they will find themselves representing other teams on loan. Off goes Paul Mullin, and Mullin got there just ahead of Bishop, and the referee has gone to his pocket for a yellow card for Nathan Bishop, and a free kick just on the edge of the box for Wrexham, for whom Paul Mullin's down. OK, so we just had about a ten-minute delay, Paul Mullin... Um... Well, they knocked it around the goalie, the goalie absolutely smashed him. Um, he didn't mean to hurt him, but he's, he's, he's had to leave the pitch, he's in a bit of pain as well. So, Moore's like, well, wow, mate. It's in towards Palmer! And Elliot Lee sneaked in behind him. The Nile veterans take the lead against the kids. And it's really good set-up play down that far side. This will end up in the six-yard box. And it's on by Kluweth and in by Hayden. And Wrexham lead by two. Hansen. Fernandez. And steered in by Gerardo. Right on the dot of the five extra minutes. Concern for their teammate, and this is a, a well balanced contest. Idealism against pragmatism, maybe that sums it up, maybe not. But at half time, it's Manchester United 1, Wrexham 2. All right, it's 2 1 at half time. Wrexham are up 2 1. Uh, Manchester United, fortunately, uh, Mullen went off, uh, injured. I hope it's not serious. But, uh, you know, the kids are looking really good. Um, uh, you know, Wrexham looks like it looks a little bit better against the boys, so we're going to see if there's probably some changes. Uh, Tim Hag is sitting on the bench, so we're trying to impress. Hope you guys uh, can do it. Yeah. It's been a good, it's been a good fight for, so far from Manchester United and Wrexham. We'll see what's going to happen. Probably a bit of mass changes. Hopefully, Mullen's okay. Yeah. All right. We want to see you in the second half. And about four minutes later than scheduled, away we go for the second half. Ooh, that was a bad challenge. And whilst the referee was reluctant to produce red for Bishop in the first half, it's red for Gore in the second. 
Now, the referee thinks that this is a red card because he goes with his stud showing. He's a competitive player, Gort. Dolby, there's a runner for him in Waters. There's another in Mendy. And Dolby! Wrexham lead 3-1. It's an eye-catching scoreline, all right. Oh. 3-1. 3-1. Wrexham up 3-1. Happens. All right, here we go. <laughs> Got a streaker. Amazing. <laughs> they got him. <laughs> of course, a good goal from Dolby as well. It is Wrexham's night in San Diego. 3 1 winners over Manchester United's youth team. Exchange between Phil Parkinson and Travis Binion. And a job well done by Wrexham, their only concern, Paul Mullin, now in hospital. But Lee, Hayden and Dolby scored, Gerardo pulled one back for Manchester United, who had Gore sent off. It is another fascinating chapter in the unfolding story of Wrexham AFC. 3-1 winners over Manchester United in San Diego. Great game, great event, uh, put on a great show. 3-1, uh, Wrexham beat United. Well done. Total success, great game. Uh, Man United lost 3-1 three, three, to Wrexham. Wrexham put up a good show. The kids at United put up a good show. I uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, hope, hope, hopefully Mullen is not too seriously hurt. And uh, yeah, five aside tomorrow morning. Let's go, let it rip.